Let's install a hull. The hull is a main part of the destroyer that keeps it on the surface of the water. Now drag a propulsion system to its place. It sets a destroyer in motion. Now it's time to install generators. The generators provide power for the equipment and weapon systems of a destroyer. These are the fuel tanks. Install them. The fuel tanks contain gasoline or other fuel. And now let's install a deck. It is a horizontal slab that separates the internal part of the ship from its external part. And now we need to install a funnel. It is needed to expel smoke and gases from the engine compartment. Let's install a helipad. It is needed so that a helicopter could take off and land on board of a destroyer. Now it's time to install a superstructure with a bridge and a mast. The destroyer is controlled from the bridge. This is a radar. Come, let's install it. It helps to detect aerial, marine, and land targets. And now let's install an anchor. The anchor is needed to keep the destroyer in place. Now let's install searchlights. The searchlights illuminate the way of a destroyer in the dark. Let's install a flagpole with a flag. A flagpole is a stand for a flag. The flag indicates which country the vessel belongs to. It's time to install the artillery of a destroyer. This is the main weapon of a destroyer that's used to hit marine and land targets. Now we need to install anti-aircraft artillery. This is the weapon of a destroyer that's used to defend or hit aerial targets. Let's install depth charge mortars. They are needed to hit underwater and surface targets. Amazing!